Hey guys, welcome to a new video. As you know, we're double uploading today every single day for this month of July. And today we're going to be talking about the best alternative to Topaz Labs. Uh, Topaz Labs is a pretty awesome business, a pretty awesome company that allows you to edit your art, edit your images, your art, your if you're a photographer, and it's very, very heavily used by photographers. If I was to compare Topaz Labs to other tools out there, I can mostly kind of compare it to something like a Adobe Lightroom, for example, where you can edit images the way the colors are, the color schemes, the fine-tuned details. Um, it's not so much like a Canva editing software, but it's more like a graphical editing uh, software for photography. And as somebody who creates different t-shirt designs and things like that, I do use different tools to help me create different designs. And I'll kind of share with you what I'm talking about here in a minute. But Topaz allows you to, like I said, take a photo and edit certain details, whether it be sharpening the image, changing the lighting, removing noise around the image, all kinds of different things. And you could see here that the software cost $199. Now, $199 is not the most expensive software in the world. There's definitely much, much more expensive softwares. Uh, but it has these AI features that are included, and they're actually pretty cool, pretty interesting. Um, you could actually see some of the applications that you could pay for extra, uh, like Sharpen AI or Denoise AI, which kind of shows the difference between uh, these little features that you could pay extra for, $80, for example, to Denoise or to Sharpen. But you guys have been seeing some of my videos where I edit different designs and I create different designs with a different software tool. And that software tool is called Luminar Neo. Now, before we begin, I'll leave a link in the description to the absolute cheapest place where you can grab Luminar Neo. And Luminar Neo is a software tool that instead of paying a one-time fee, uh, you can pay monthly, which it's cheap. Uh, I think it's like comes out to $10 a month or $15 a month, something like that. And if you want to pay it one time forever, I believe it's also, I think, either $199 or $129 uh, or $139. I can't remember the exact number. Um, don't hold me to it. But this is pretty much the best alternative because you can have all of the features that are listed within Topaz within Luminar Neo, and you don't have to pay extra for any of the features. Now, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Some of the images that I've kind of done some editing to, done some graphic design with, all kinds of different things. So let's take, for example, this design, right? So this design was normally, or normally, looked like this, right? And you could see here the before and after, right? So what I did here, I was darkening the image, made it more neon, uh, took some certain elements out, maybe denoised de it a little bit, and you can kind of see the difference. Um, another image here, let's go to this one, for example. Uh, this image right here was originally an image. Some people might call this a photograph, but it's obviously not a photograph a real life photograph but it looked originally like this and with the software I turned it like this um, I can upscale images I can focus uh, images I can denoise images I could do so many different things to the different images I have an image that I created on a software called Leonardo AI here and I'm going to use this image as a um, I guess you could say as a teaching point to show you what you can do with the software. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and just upload it real quick. And to upload an image is simply just drag and drop it into Luminar Neo. And I can go over here and hit edit. One of the things that um, Topaz has is a denoiser. Okay, so you can see here what denoisement denoising is is and by the way, it's an application that you have to pay extra for with Topaz. You could see here like this picture of a I don't know what this is, a koala, a monkey, whatever you want to call this. Um, you could see these like pixelated kind of uh, texture to the image. All that is referred to as noise. It takes away from the actual image and it looks less advanced. But you can see here to the right, it looks more crisp. Well, 
this software has the same thing, right? It has noiseless AI. Uh, there's magic light. They're super sharp. So if I want to sharpen the image, I can do that too. I believe Topaz, yep, they have an AI here. Now, me personally, with the designs I like to create, I like to create some t-shirt looking designs. So sometimes I like it a little bit more noise and a little bit less sharp. Sometimes I enjoy that. One of the features that's in Luminar Neo that is, I believe, not in Topaz, which I'm, I don't even think Topaz has this, is the AI erase feature. And what the AI erase feature does is it allows me to erase a segment of an image as if it was never there. So for example, if I want to, let's go to actually to a different image here. Let's go to uh, something that I already did this on. Let's do it. Let's go to this because this is a little bit more intricate, right? If I wanted to erase something in this image, right? So something like this, I can go ahead and, and just erase it like that, hit erase, and it will disappear from the image as if it was never there, right? It does. It's not erased like a normal paint software or anything like that, it just disappears. I can do the same thing with other style images and I could actually show you here what I'm talking about. If we go over here to all photos, and let me actually find some of these photos. Let's pick something like this, right? You can see this image is not the most graphical. It's not the best good looking, but I can go over here. I can go into erase and I can erase a stone like right here, right? And you could see here how it disappears just like that as if it was never there to begin with. And that's what erase AI does. And that's actually a function in Luminar Neo Imagine you're a photographer, you shoot a certain picture of a great landscape or a tree, and there's somebody in the photo that you don't want them to be there. You just go over with the erase tool and you erase them out of the photo. Just that simple, right? So that's one of the features. Uh, another feature that I like, obviously, because I create t-shirt designs and things like that, is when I get to work on the actual colors and the glow of the design. These are a lot of features that I like to use pretty consistently. So I have like smart contrast here where I can work with the contrast of the design, right? I can go over here. I can transform the design, meaning transform how it's shifted. So if I want to kind of make it more vertical, less vertical, etc., I can do stuff like this. In my case, with a design like this, it's not needed. Um, but there's a lot of different things that I can do. I can denoise the image, right? And I can denoise it without the AI or with the AI. And each one kind of does different things. This is a color denoiser. So it denoises based on color by increasing the brightness or toggling color. I can also denoise by using the noiseless AI feature. Now, once again, I've, sp I've spoken about this, but I enjoy having some noise in my t-shirt design because it looks a little more authentic, a little more real. And that's what I like to do. A cool feature that I like having here in Luminar Neo is this glow feature. I'm not going to be able to go after all different features in this video uh, because we would be here forever, but I'm actually going to leave a link in the description to the playlist of videos that I have around Luminar Neo. And I've done some tutorials about around this tool. I've done some, uh, you know, guides, things like that. So I think overall that this design, uh, this software is probably one of the most effective that I would use around editing different designs for AI, uh, AI art that is, and even photography. Uh, let's go ahead and let me pause the screen real quick and download some real photograph images and work on editing them live here in front of you guys using Luminar Neo for all the photographers out there. All right, guys, so this is an image that I'm deciding to use here for this tutorial with uh, Luminar Neo. And I'm going to show a few things that you could do here with this software tool. Um, the first thing I could do is I could play around with colors. This image looks kind of raw in terms of colors, not too raw, but a little bit on the raw side. So I can go ahead and just add some smart contrast. And you can see immediately that some of the colors go out there. And I can also toggle certain colors. So if I go in here to my develop, go to my masking, and let's say I want to add some, you know, some sort of feature, some color to this leaf, I can go ahead and mask those certain areas of it, right? And I would obviously have to cover it to the best of my ability, or as close as I possibly can with this, right? And then I would jump over here into my advancements, and I would kind of test the different tints. So you can see here how I just shifted the tint of this leaf, right? And 
it's actually pretty cool, right? So I can work with the saturation. I can make it highly saturated, kind of like this, right? And to the sometimes it will be so saturated, it won't even look natural. But uh, you can kind of see the vibrance. And that's kind of your job to control where you want to set it to. And I could do the same thing like for the eye color as well. So I can play with all kinds of different different settings here. I have relight so I can test different settings and I can undo them as well. So this is the image so far, right, with my settings and I can test what this does. So this light setting will kind of make the image either look far uh, further or closer depending on how I kind of set it up. But it once looked like this, right? So once look like this, and now it looks like this, which is a different image uh, entirely. Um, I can play with the denoise, right? So this is, oh, the brightness kicked in. I can play around with that brightness. Let's see, this is what it once was, right? This is what it is now. Um, you can kind of different different kind of depths there. Um my computer, it's sometimes it's hard to handle because this the image is so graphical, there's a lot to do there. Um, I can even have a vignette, which pretty much a lot of softwares can do that, but I can set up the mood, right? I can make it a little bit more dramatic, something like this, which honestly I don't think I'm going to do. Looks like a horror scene when, when you do that. I have glow right here, which makes certain things brighter. I could do that so many different things that I could play around and edit with here. Uh, the face AI, we can go ahead and work on the face AI. If I want to make the face more slim, I can do that as well. So, I mean, it, it will take some time to render, but you could see how it, what it just did. The image went from this face to that face. And that is a very significant shift. Um, and I can do this more more than once over. So I can go like this, and now the image does does shift a little, and it looks a little odd when you bring it back to normal size. Like, look at that. Look at the difference there, right? Um, pretty insane, right? You can make the face brighter in certain areas, right? So I could go here, make it a little bit brighter. The eyes, we can test different things. So if there's red eye removal, I could do that. Dark circles removal. So dark circles, like, representing around the eyes. Let's see. Wow, you could see that right there. Right, so right around this rim here, let me show you. Let me show you this. Do you see the difference there? Those small features make a big difference, right? I can improve eyebrows, so just typically means darken, and you can see how the eye, the eye kind of recognizes it. You don't want it to be too unnatural, so I'll just leave that the way it is. We have the eye enhancer here, which brightens them up. Look at how that brightened now. So that does shift the image, um, and you know. It just depends on how you decide to set it up. I'm not saying that this is a good image with the editing. It's all it all comes down to, you know, how you want to test things. But yeah, guys, this is uh, Luminar Neo. So many different things that you can edit. Um, I I've added so many different features to my designs because of it. Like for example, this design, um, I can go over here and add some film grain to it. And film grain always, you know, is that little touch. That sometimes I like to add to certain designs. Not all the time, but sometimes, right? It does kind of shift the, the way the design looks. You could see here, it almost makes it look pixelated in a way, but it, it comes out pretty clean, right, when I want to edit it. And there's so many, like I said, so many things I could do. I could go over here. I can make, to work on the toning, right? Uh, you could see here. Let me go ahead and turn it up all the way. You can see the different things I can do once I increase that saturation, I can shift the color of the design. So if I want to make it more blue and I want to highly saturate, I could do that, right? And then let's say I come into a software, I edit the background color, I remove all this, this paint here, and I have a whole different design. So there's a lot of different things I could do. I think in my next video, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to show you guys how to edit it. So if you want to see that, click the link in the description so you can watch part two to me actually editing this, which is going to be super fun and turning it into a t-shirt design. All right, guys. So I'll talk to you guys soon. See you soon and peace out. Bye.